the first has to do with like a really practical use case, and that is engraving on wood, which if you've used a traditional fiber laser, you know you really can't do this. So with Xtool, with their F1 and F1 Ultra, and then their new F2 and F2 Ultra, if you wanna do wood, you're actually using a diode laser inside of it, which is basically just like a diode laser that you might find on a gantry machine like the Xtool S1. And those diode lasers are good and they give you really good markings on wood, but a normal fiber laser won't let you do that. And then a CO2 laser, the markings are gonna be a good bit thicker, especially if it's a glass tube. Now a UV laser can mark on wood and it does a really good job. Specifically, it has incredibly fine detail. So the laser dot, so the like size of the laser beam itself is basically the smallest you're gonna get of any of these type of machines. So even though it's low wattage, it's gonna be really, really fine and really, really precise. And you're not gonna be limited to just wood because fiber lasers like the other F2 Ultra, which is a 60 watt MOPA fiber, uh, has good engraving and good detail on metal, uh, but you can't do anything on wood where this guy can do both uh, and the laser dot's gonna be even smaller. So the first really cool feature of UV is the fact you can do this on wood and the engraving is going to be really fine. In the future, I'm gonna have a video comparing like a UV versus a diode versus a CO2 versus a fiber. So you can kind of see the difference in terms of engraving on a bunch of different materials. So that's coming, uh, but just know UV uh, is really, really nice. In fact, here is engraving going all the way down from like 10 points down to one point 